Hola mis amigos, welcome friends, or welcome back, if you've been here before. My name's Lisa and I'm trying to <laughs> um, get back into the rhythm of filming and things again, so I will be bringing you bookish content as well as makeup related videos, so if that is something that interests you, please subscribe, like, comment and share my videos. I will also link my socials down below so feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I also have an Amazon wish list if you feel like you would like to check that out. Um, yeah, so that being said, I am going to do today a My Favourite YouTubers pick my January TBR. I was, I am doing some TBR games for next year. Um, me being with typical Libra self, I couldn't make a decision on one game, so I'm starting two TBR games next month, next month, next year, and I'm going to alternate them each month. Um, but also, I procrastinate a lot, so I didn't have time to sell them both out for um, January. So, I decided to punt with tagging some of my favourite booktubers to see if they would respond and pick a book for me and they all did which I'm so excited for. Instead of me just rambling on it yeah, I'm just going to show you the books that they picked for me. Um, I tagged them all in a Twitter post, I then sent the pictures of my bookshelves and the books that I had and then they picked one for me. So, first person is Emma from Emma Novella. Emma Novella. <laughs> oh god, what is my life? Um, yeah, so Emma from Emma Novella, she picked The Crooked Sixpence and A Place Called Perfect. These are both middle grade books and this follows Ivy and Seb who stumble across something uncommon when they see a feather scratch and an ominous message on their grandma's kitchen wall. So, um, it's an altern alternate world of London or where they come across um, alternate objects with amazing powers, so I'm excited for that. And then A Place Called Perfect. Um, this one seems a bit more of a darker middle grade. I don't know if that's, I'm getting that vibe just because of the cover. But if you look at that, that is really cool artwork. Both of these are illustrated by Carl James Mountford, which is one of Jade from Jade Ray Reed's um, favourite illustrators. So I'm looking forward to this. And this, uh, this, these are both part of series. And this one says, who wants to live in a town where everyone has to wear glasses to stop them going blind? And who wants to be neat and tidy and perfectly behaved all the time? Violet quickly discovers there's something weird going on in the, in the town. She keeps hearing voices, her mum is acting strange, and her dad disappears. When she meets Boy, she realises that her dad is not the only one to have vanished, and that the mysterious watchers are guarding perfectly creepy secret. So, these sound really cool, and I can't wait to get into them. Um, next up, we have... another book from a series and this was selected by Sid from Sid Bookworm and um, she is a lovely American booktuber she's so sweet um, and she picked out for me A Darker Shade of Magic from V.E. Schwab and um, again like Hi, phone um, so um, I picked these up because they are some of Jade's favourite books and it's one of Jade's favourite authors and I just loved the concept so um, it just says Kel is one of the last travellers magicians with the rare ability to travel between parallel universes connected by one magical city. There's Grey London with our magic ruled by the Mad King George III, Red London where magic is revered and where Kel was raised alongside the heir to the Empire, White London where people fight to control the remaining magic and magic fights back and once there was Black London and I don't really need to know much more than this so I trust Jay's recommendations wholeheartedly so I'm excited for this one and to follow on from that Jade herself picked A Gathering of Shadows which is the second in the series I bought the trilogy um, off Amazon and yeah so I get to read both books fingers crossed in January I'm really excited I am really excited for this so we'll see what happens with that one 
Next up we have Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. He's just like, I love watching his videos, they're so wholesome and if you haven't ever seen his videos I do recommend that you go watch all of these people that are recommended books for me because they're all just, honestly, I just I love watching them. They're all great. Um, this one is A Castle of Tangled Magic and this is the one that I will be picking up first for this month. Um, and this follows a girl called Olia um, and I've read the first like chapter I think already um, I start well today's the 31st so I started last night um, so it's still classed as a January because I'll finish it in January that's my saying anyway that's how I'm thinking about it anyway um, this follows a girl called Olia um, she lives in a castle called Castle Mila and it was um, created, um, some people say by magic and some people say by a guy with just a hammer. Um, but the castle is filled with different rooms that have secret doorways, secret access points and she finds, like she runs around the castle trying to find all the secret entrances to these different parts of the castle. And then one day she comes across um, a doorway that leads to another world so this is just I'm excited because magic and yeah that's it magic that's all I need to know next up was well, this was this one was picked by Becca from Becca in the books and this is another V he Schwab V he V he Schwab book and it is the invisible life of Adi LaRue and this follows a girl called Adi LaRue who makes a deal with a very unsafe character, a devil-like character, um, that she wants to live forever, and he agrees. But um, if she, the the catch, should I say, is that everyone that she meets will forget her, and then 300 years after all this starts, she meets someone who doesn't forget her, and then we go from there. So I'm looking forward to reading this. It's chunkier than the other ones so but um this was supposed to be well i say it was supposed to be i was going to read this in december as part of a buddy read but um my december tbr went out the window because i went into a reading slump and yeah i literally did read three books <sighs> never mind anyway um if you watch my december video you'll also see that this was on it. This was picked by Molly from Mo Mind of Molly um, and it follows Aurora who um, is part of the Stormlings and part of her sort of progression is supposed to be that she is supposed to be able to wield, uh, wield the power of the storm and sort of like rule like with the magic but it comes apparent that she doesn't have the ability to wield this magic and she gets a bit concerned so she's trying to find ways around like trying to get hold of this magic and comes across somebody who sort of like sells it on the black market kind of thing and she's debating whether or not she should go down the darker route of obtain, being able to obtain this magic and I did start this about a couple of chapters in I personally think that I wasn't feeling it because um, my mindset in December went, just went a bit Ugh, and I wasn't in the mood for reading anything so I'm hoping that it was just that because the premise of this sounds really cool um, again magic anything to do with magic generally I do really like um, but yeah I'm going to try and dive back into this again and we'll see what happens next up we <laughs> next up we have another person who couldn't select just one book um, and that's Steph from Steph Loves. Um, the, I might regret doing this, but one of these is a chunker. Um, I say chunker, it's a big hardback, so it feels chunkier. Um, but she picked How the King of Elfame Learned to Hit Stories. Um, this is a fairly special edition, and I've just received this in the post. And my god, is it amazing! Look at the inside of that. And I just, I just love it. Look, look at the illustrations. Like, 
this one will be that bad to get to because a lot of the pages are sort of like full or half illustrations so and it's obviously quite thin so I think that this one will be quite quick to get through um but I just actually love it this is by Holly Black um I didn't even tell you who this is by so this one by Cora Carmack um, and this one is by Holly Black and it was illustrated by Ravina Kai so yeah we've got that one my battery's flashing at me so if I am, if the picture changes it's because I'm filming on my phone but I'll try and get it done as quick as possible <laughs> um, the next one is Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco the amount of times I butchered this last name is ridiculous um, this was another fair loot edition and I don't know much about the book but I've heard mixed reviews but mostly positive reviews about this um, so I'm really excited to get into this and again it's just a beautiful edition so even if I dislike this book it will be staying on my bookshelves because who doesn't love a beautiful hardback copy of the book so got two books left so the next one was picked by Mel from Melly Reads and it's these Violet Delights which is a Shanghai based 1926 retelling kind of of like a Romeo and Juliet kind of retelling and that's all I really know about it I've heard again mixed reviews about this and um, I'm excited but also nervous to get into this because if you're the kind of person who doesn't like retellings this isn't going to be for you anyway but I've never actually read a retelling before so um, I suppose I'll find out if I actually like them so this is this one and it's by Chloe Gong which I'm excited about and then finally the biggest chunker of the lot and before she actually recommended this one I knew that as soon as as long as nobody else had picked this I knew that this was one that she was going to pick and this is Maddie from the book browsing blog and she picked Lady Taylor's Stranger Dreamer and I think this is part of the first of the geology I think I think it's only a geology but this is the first book in you know this series on a geology by Lady Taylor and again I don't know much about this this has been sat on my shelves I got it in a fairy loot box a while ago now um and it's just been sat on my shelves looking pretty but um look at that chunker oh god um i'm really excited to get into this because there are so many books on my shelves i need to read and i'm acquiring new ones all the time so um yeah thank you so much for forcing my hand to actually pick this up i think i've avoided picking it up because it is so big and until recently well even now but until recently like I didn't like picking up chunky books just because they scared me. They do still make me a little bit nervous but I'm more inclined to want to pick them up because I'm back interested in reading again and sitting down with a big cosy book is just something that I enjoy doing now but we'll see where this goes. Maddie loves Lady Taylor and she's one of her favourite authors so I'm really hoping that I like this because Maddie I will be coming to you for some more Lady Taylor recommendations if I like this so so that is my January TBR there are 11 books but as you can see there were like four um, or five that were quite thin um, and easy to like I think they're gonna be quick reads um, so wish me luck next month I will be doing my review video review video my release video of like the different games I'll be doing over the next 12 months um, and hopefully you'll be seeing more content regularly from me I'm going to try my best to stop self sabotaging um, I've already filmed this once um, but I watched the footage back when I was editing it I hated it and deleted it and decided to refilm so <laughs> Um, that has been a habit of mine for so long and I tend not to refilm things um, so I'm trying to get out of the habit of deleting it in the first place but um, yeah that's just mind things and self sabotage but um, I'm going to try and overcome that or try and 
I'm going to try my best to overcome that in 2021. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll see more content from me on both the bookish side and the makeup side because I do love both and I can't pick between both. So you'll you will be seeing bits of both on my channel, hopefully coming soon. Um, just bear with me because, you know, if you deal with mental health issues, you'll be aware of the struggle at times. So I'm really going to try my best. This is like one of my goals is to grow my channel. Um, I will try and do a goals video as well. Um, I want to try and sort of hold myself more accountable. So at the beginning of January I will try and do a goals video as well. But yeah, if you do like to watch the ramblings and thoughts of a chaotic Yorkshire 33 <coughs> year old, then please subscribe and like comment down below if you've got this far leave a skull emoji down below because kingdom of the wicked told you to do so um so that's it from me so be kind be happy and stay true to you and i'll see you all very soon bye